Hey, what's up guys? This is James from JK Music Design. Uh, I, I was on Twitter and I noticed that it looks like a few people are having some issues with how do we do the uh, reverse symbol effect. And so I wanted to take some time and kind of show what that workflow looks like. Um, and what I did was I, I pulled up one of the uh, drummer presets. I'm using the SoCal kit here. And uh, I basically just recorded a cymbal crash, which you'll hear. Uh, and now we're dealing with MIDI, so we really can't do too much with the audio sound. So how do we get this into that reverse cymbal sound that we hear on so many records? Uh, and basically what we're going to want to do is bounce this, uh, create, basically turn it from a MIDI track into an audio track. Logic makes this really easy, and what we can do is just do a two-finger click, and we can do a, uh, a bounce. Uh, and I think there's also another way to do it. We'll just do the uh, the bounce, and we'll do that bounce in place. And we're going to include the audio trail, the file, that's good. We don't need to include the volume or pan. Uh, we're going to do it to a new track, and we can call this symbol. We'll select OK. So now, here... Looks like I zoomed in a little bit too much. This should be our audio, which it is. So by double clicking it, we can now go in here to File, we can go to our Functions, and select Reverse. And now when we play it back, there's our reverse symbol. Hope that helps and have a good one. Bye.